Matt, looking forward to running the marathon on Sunday? No. <laughs> no, I am, uh, I'm looking forward to experiencing it. I think it'll be my first and last marathon. Um, it'll be a tough one, being a little bit more heavy set than what I used to be, but um, it's going to be exciting, I think, to run it, you know, for such a great bloke, somebody all way, and sharing that with, with people and family and friends. It'll be a real special occasion. And, and, and Rob so much will be at the forefront of everyone's thoughts out, out on the course. Well, there's a reason I'm doing it. There's a reason many other people are doing it. You know, we share a lot of love and share a lot of great memories with Rob. And it'd be nice to run with like-minded people this weekend. Uh, tell us about Rob as a teammate, obviously a, a very mischievous member of the dressing room. I suspect you probably were the, the butt of some of his jokes. Actually, not too bad. He generally stayed away from me a little bit. Um, no, it was good. It was quick-witted and always full of fun, always full of energy. Something to do with the amount of Red Bulls he, he drunk, um, and to see somebody with such, you know, so much energy, so much enthusiasm. You know, probably the toughest player I've ever played with. To be going through what he's doing is heartbreaking to see, but to see how he's handling, his family's handling it is is inspirational. You mentioned the word inspiration. I mean, it was inspirational on the field, wasn't it, for, for you? For you, so many games where he came up with a bit of a magic in a game, and, and now he's inspiring hundreds of thousands of people to, to raise money to, to fight MND. Yeah, you know, you think Rob's illness highlights how, how good of a player he was and we were very fortunate to play in a team full of inspirational people and, and Rob stood out near the top of them and, you know, to look how he's handling this shows how tough an individual he is, shows how tough his wife Lindsay is and his, his, his parents and family. To do, to do what they're doing and handle it so well is, I say, it's an inspiration and something we all admire. And uh, just away from the marathon, your son Joe's in, in the Rhinos Academy following, following your footsteps. I suggest a little bit faster than yourself. A hell of a lot faster than I ever used to be. That do not take a lot. I was a bit of a slug in my day. But no, it's, um, it's, it makes you feel old, you know, watching your son play on, on the Edley Turf along with some of my ex teammates' kids. But, you know, it's, um, it's nice to see, you know, he, he, a little bit of luck and a little bit of hard work and, and let's see what happens for him. And it's nice that that gives you a connection back with the club as well? Yeah, it's a connection I've always had with the, you know, the club. I love this club I made, you know, signed here as a junior um, and it's always, always has and always will play a big part of my life.